Civil trial of three Asheville police officers involved in a shooting is underway. Mary Ann Wilcox is seeking compensation for medical bills after being shot during a police chase in 2007. Testimony in the trial continued today. News 13's Megan Shearing was there and joins us live from the Buncombe County Courthouse. Megan, a law enforcement expert testified that these officers' actions were justified that night. Yeah, that's right, Larry. He says that uh, these officers were being threatened and their use of deadly force was just was necessary. But Wilcox's attorneys say that their actions that night were negligent and reckless. Cameras were not allowed in District Courtroom 3A today, but we were allowed to sit in and listen to testimony. Captain Stoney Gantz with the Asheville Police Department is one of three officers being sued. He told jurors about his actions the night of May 31st, 2007. Gaunt, who was a sergeant at the time, was pursuing a car driven by Larry Wilson. When police tried to pull him over, Wilson kept driving. Court records show radio transmissions were made telling officers to fall back. But during the chase, 27 shots were fired at Wilson's car. None of the bullets hit him, but two hit his passenger, Mary Ann Wilcox. One of Gaunt's bullets struck her in the leg. He testified he never saw Wilcox in the car. Her attorneys would not speak to News 13 about the case, but did in 2012. And so part of our claim is that they didn't need to use this kind of deadly force. There was other means available. And at the time that the officers were shooting, um, this car was going at a low rate of speed and was no imminent threat to the public. But on the stand today, Gaunt said he was afraid that Wilson was going to kill him that night. He testified Wilson tried to hit him with his car two different times during the chase. Gantz told jurors his six bullets were only intended for Larry Wilson. Now, the attorneys for the officers would also not comment about this case. The jurors are expected to hear closing arguments tomorrow morning. Reporting live from the Buncombe County Courthouse tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.